Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we implement Google reCAPTCHA version 2 in Laravel 9. As you can see I have already created a notepad file right here on the desktop uh, in which I have defined all the necessary steps in order to reduce the time of this video and uh, let's say in order to uh, uh, complete the whole procedure smoothly. Yeah. So yeah guys let's start and let me tell you first that in this case, once again, uh, like we did in reCAPTCHA version 3, once again, I am going to implement this reCAPTCHA version 2 on Laravel authentication register page. Okay. Uh, similarly, let's say uh, the procedure we are going to follow right here, you can do this for any specific form. It's totally up to you. But for this example, I'm going to use authentication register page like Laravel auth, auth and register page. Okay. So yeah, guys, once again, to save some time, I have already implemented these command. I already have a, a fresh Laravel project. I have created the authentication and I have the auth scope folding and my weed server is running right here. You can see uh, the project name is 21. Why? Because I am using reCAPTCHA version 2 till right here or you can say this name for Laravel Hindi Urdu lecture. Okay. So uh, let's say uh, guys who are joining me right now, uh, let's start with the step number one. First you need to do is uh, you need to create a fresh Laravel project using this command global command. If you have Laravel globally installed, if not, you can simply use this command right here and just wait for the execution of this command and then you can move forward. To step number two which says that we need to implement laravel ui and you need to run the first command composer required laravel slash ui okay after the uh, uh, after uh, let's say uh, after the execution is completed for this command you can simply move to uh, command number two of step number two php artisan ui view hyphen hyphen auth and after the execution of this command you can simply run your weed server so let's start with step number three okay uh, in uh, which says that we need to run the migration and before that we need to check our env file if the database configuration is fine so let's access sublime let's move to env right here you can see the database name okay so it's correct so i'm going to access another instance of git bash uh, to follow the remaining procedure because right here on the first uh, first instance of git bash i'm running my weed server so let's access my uh, let's access our project cdc xam ht docs recapture version 2 and 1 why for the uh, in english lecture yeah so yeah guys let's move forward and let's run the migration php artisan migrate okay and now it is going to ask me if i want to create the database uh, because i don't have one so yeah yes and the migration ran successfully so let's move to step number four okay right here uh, i think i have two notepad files so let me close one right here okay so step number four uh, now we need to install the uh, recaptcha version 2 package so i'm in this case i'm using bisco lab a laravel package so just copy this right here and by the way i have created this notepad use uh, notepad file using this uh, package huh? okay just so that you know okay let's move to git bash and let's paste it right here and once again this command is going to take some time for the execution so let's move forward step number five which says that we need to implement a side key and secret in env file but for that we need the side key and env file so let's move to step number six uh, in which we will see how can we create a side key or secret key oh, and secret key sorry so step number six uh, first of all, you need to have a Google account. Uh, let's say if you have a Google account, you can simply access this link. If not, first you need to create a Google account and then you need to access this link. Okay. So let's move to Google. I'm going to access the link right here. Okay. So when you are here, you can uh, register a new site. You are going to put labels. In this case, I already have a site. So I'm just going to do it uh, for you. I just want to show you how you can do that. So label anything you want. Okay. And in this case, we want reCAPTCHA version 2 because we have already implemented this one in previous video. So reCAPTCHA version 2. And in this case, I want I'm not a robot checkbox. Domain name should be something like this 127.0.0.1 since I am on the local host. I can't write local host. Okay, it will not work. Neither HTTP or HTTPS. Okay, once again, you need to avoid them. 
you can put uh, let's say if you are working on live environment you are going to put it like this let's say website website.com okay your website name and dot com that's it okay so in my case i already have that you need to verify the ownership like uh, check the email if it's correct or no then you need to accept the terms and condition and submit the form once you submit the form you will be redirected to another page where you will find your site key and secret so since i have uh, the site uh, I have already created the site so for the Hindi Urdu lecture and before that okay so let's move back right here uh, version 3 admin console okay and from here I can uh, you can see I have two sites one for version 3 and one for version 2 so let's move to version 2 checkbox recapture version 2 right here okay so you can see some stats here okay uh, one more thing let's say if you are able to implement this recapture version 2 and you are testing it locally and you are seeing uh, and none of the results right here so just keep that in mind guys sometimes for the initial configuration it may take three days to uh, see the analytics right here okay so just that uh, so please just keep that in mind okay let's move and let's say if you have any question like uh, how can I get the site key and secret key right here because I forgot to copy it from the last page so you you can simply move to settings right here uh, I will scroll down slowly so that you can see the whole configuration for my site so label okay right here I have if I click on this drop down I will see my site key and secret this is the domain in this case localhost okay and this is the email yeah so right here if I click on this drop down I will see my site key and secret uh, which I have to implement right here and for that I need to copy something from step number five right here copy and paste it right here okay and I'm going to put my site key and site uh, site key here and secret here okay so let's move to Google right here okay so I don't want to edit this video because I know you guys are desperately uh, waiting for the uh, uh, video so yeah I'm not going to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for seconds I'm going to get the site key and secret from here and I will put it in env file and then I will close that so that I don't have to edit it again and again so just wait for a second okay guys so it's done and you can see I have closed my env file because I already put the site key and secret so yeah let's move forward to step number seven which says that we need to publish uh, our configuration file so yeah copy this command and let's move to git bash and paste it right here just like that okay once it's done you will see a message done let's move to sublime config recapture and right here you will see the whole configuration okay so in this case we need to verify if we are using version 2 as uh, it says in uh, step number 7 C. okay uh, make sure and you don't need to uh, stop the video and uh, copy everything or write everything I will put the link of this notepad file in the description okay so yeah this is version 2 and let's say if you want to change the validation error you can uh, do it right here but in our case or let's say if I'm going to change my validation message I will do it in register controller but in this case I'm not going to do that but just keep that uh, uh, keep a note on that that let's say if you want to uh, update your message regarding recapture you can do that in the register controller itself where you are validating the uh, let's say the form okay yeah let's move forward to notepad and let's move to forward to step number eight which says that we need to uh, include the init recapture version 2 javascript so i'm just going to copy it and i'm going to put it in the header so let's move to resources layout app and right here okay and just like that save okay let's move forward step number nine update the register form and include this div in your register uh, blade so yeah let's move to register blade okay this one and let's put it just below the password confirmation div right here align the code sorry mm. oops I was hitting f11 sorry for that guys <laughs> okay let's move forward uh, step number 10 which says that for the validation you can put it like this so copy okay so it will show the default message okay so let's move to register controller right here uh, right here we will put our validation for g recapture response just like that okay so in case if you want to assign a custom message you can do it right here okay 
Okay guys, so yeah, that's it. And step number 11, which says that we need to test a reCAPTCHA and just to be on the safe side, please make sure to clear your website or project cache or Google Chrome cache because sometimes you will see it loading again and again. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this command. Okay, and put it right here. Let's paste it, enter. Okay, it's done. As sometimes you may need to run these command first this one php artisan config config cache enter then second command this one okay or you can hard reload the tab okay the uh, browser tab okay so let's test it out and for that i need to run my project so php artisan serve port 8080 just like that okay let's move to sublime for a second because i want to i want the password to be of minimum three because in this case i'm just testing it okay so it's running let's do a refresh here okay let's move to register page okay guys so you can see the results right here now let's test it out okay one two three one two three and let's click on this okay so as you can see so i have a cache issue right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try it on another browser let's try it out you can use this command as well but uh, this is uh, another workaround you can try a different browser so let's do it right here control a 127.0.0.1 and 8080 port itself register let's try it right here okay so let it load completely right here let's put uh let's say default test email one two three and one two three let's try it out i'm not a robot so once again because i have tried this in hindi urdu lecture so that's why it's not working no problem uh this is the other workaround uh, that i was going to show you so yeah now let's hard reload this page let's try that out okay so it's done let's try it now okay one two three one two three i'm not a robot and see it's working now so you can simply register now okay so done yeah guys so that's about it okay so in some cases you will find uh, that you need to uh, clear your browser cache and uh, you may need to hard reload your browser right here or tab right here okay uh, but in most of the cases it will work fine see now again so sometimes you will have to do that so make sure for the live environment as well make sure you clear your uh, uh, browser and configuration cache okay but it will work fine but in some cases yeah you need to use the commands as well see again the same issue <laughs> no problem you can try you can see it's it was working so yeah let me try it again i'm just going to do it right now okay let's try it out okay so it's working so yeah sometimes you will face configuration issue that's why i told you to you, you can use all of these commands okay yeah guys so it's working fine and now let me show you something in inspection okay because i want to show you what we are working with so let's do it like that let me show you this div that it contains a lot of code html and other links see so yeah guys so yeah it's working fine now let's say in this case i'm working on local host environment so you might not see some of the images select those images etc tractor images or rows or road etc but uh, uh, trust me i have encountered this scenario as well i was trying it again and again and again and i found that i have to uh, select sometimes i have to select the images when the google is not able to authenticate me okay so yeah guys that's it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care